What's up YouTube, my name's Garrett. I'm a full-time Amazon seller. And in this video today, we are going out to do some retail arbitrage. If you don't know what retail arbitrage is, that's where we go to retail stores, find products that we can flip on Amazon for a profit. So our first stop of the day is the store called Going, Going, Gone. They're about to open here. And essentially this is basically like Dick's Sporting Goods kind of outlet store. It used to be really good, but it hasn't been lately. It haven't been about a month. So we're gonna head on in, hopefully find some stuff. And luckily we're at the outlet mall. So after that, we're going to hit up the Adidas outlet, see if we can find some sneakers, some clothing uh, to flip for a profit. So let's go. Alrighty guys, just leaving Dick's Sporting Goods or going, going, gone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, was only able to pick up two pairs of those shoes just because this was the only good size, size four. Pick these up for $15.97 each. They're going for about like $46. Also gonna make like $12 to $15 profit. Got two pairs of those. And then we also got a bunch of these, like a whole bag of those Under Armour swim trunks in different sizes, a few different colors. Uh, paid $24.97 on these. Uh, they were roughly, let's see, 60% off. So some of them were going for like 65. Um, some of them had no sellers on the listing, which is great. I like those type of listings because we can come on and name our price. Uh, so if we just sell them for retail, 64 bucks, we're gonna make like 20 bucks a pair. And we got about seven pairs of those. Uh, so we got the potential to make about 150, $160 profit off of this first stop. Uh, let me see, I think we have time. We might have time to stop by Burlington Coat Factory, but the thing is, gotta make sure I'm at Adidas when they open because there's competition and all the good stuff. Like this Adidas I'm going to, they don't limit how much you can buy. So if there's a good style of shoe or something, good clothing, usually the other sellers just grab all of them. Uh, so I wanna make sure I'm there uh, so I can compete with that. Uh, but if we have enough time, we're gonna stop by Burlington. So let's do it. Just leaving Burlington, only picked up those two items. I was in there for like five, 10 minutes max. Just really looked at the toy section, nothing in the toys, then looked at the baby section, found those two items. Uh, they were both selling for over a hundred bucks, which I love. I love selling the higher ticket items. There's a, usually less competition because a lot of RA sellers don't like investing that much into a single product, so I don't mind. So <laughs> spent 86.46. Uh, I could have got tax exempt. I just didn't have the time for, the, to, for them to do the whole ordeal. Uh, so we got 10 minutes to get over to Adidas and hopefully we can score some stuff over there. Let's go. Unfortunately, leaving Adidas empty handed. Uh, didn't come up with anything today. The problem with Adidas guys is Unfortunately, they sell directly to Amazon. So on a lot of the listings, like Amazon just completely tanks the price. Two, I don't know why a lot of brands sell to Amazon to begin with, because Amazon literally has to be the lowest price. So if you go on Amazon and look at which Adidas they're selling and then go to Adidas's website, Amazon undercuts them. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but nothing out of Adidas. We're gonna head up to, we're gonna drive up to Scottsdale and hopefully hit up Nike, see what they got. Hit up a Marshalls, Ross. I think I'm gonna hit up Kohl's because they're having a clearance kind of 20% off sale. So hopefully we can have some better luck out there. Let's go. What the heck? I did not know how I was able to carry all of these. But I was. All 
right. I'm trying to find my receipt. Here it is. Okay. All right, guys, just finished up at Nike, and unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention. I just swiped my credit card. They did not mark down any of the clearance shoes 30%. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back in there and get a refund, so. Great start to the day. So let's head back on into Nike and see if we can get this 30% off refunded, hopefully. All right, he got that whole mess situated at Nike. Super nice people at this Nike location. A lot of the other Nike locations and employees are pretty rude, but Nike Scottsdale, this is like a Nike Unite store. And it's like, I don't know, it's like a hybrid type Nike store. It's like half clearance, half factory outlet, half just like regular retail. Uh, but pretty cool store, pretty cool concept. Some great deals. We got like some shoes that were like marked down to $44.97 plus an extra 30% off. So $28 Nikes. I mean, they're selling for over 90 bucks. So we're going to make some really good money on that. Uh, but we are next to a lot of cool stores. We got a Target, a Kohl's, a Marshall's, a Ross. Uh, so yeah, and then we might make another trip back into Nike at the end of it. We'll have to see. Uh, but I think I'm going to hit Marshall's first because um, I haven't been to this Marshalls in a while. I hope they still have the tops on all of the shoe boxes. So we're gonna have to see, let's go. guys so check these out pick these up they were marked down to 1574 but all clearance right now at Kohl's was an additional 20% off so we ended up paying 12.59 each we got five of them so our total was 68.36 but check this out also this is why I like shopping at Kohl's when they're doing uh, Kohl's cash we got ten dollars in basically free money to spend at Kohl's um, I do a lot of online arbitrage at Kohl's simply because there's a lot of replens, a lot of great sales, and when you can get that $10 Kohl's cash back, uh, that's like getting 20% of your purchase price for free to spend on more inventory. And you can usually get discount gift cards to Kohl's for like anywhere between seven to 10% off. And then you buy those discount gift cards, especially if you're shopping online with a cash back credit card. So you're really getting even more. Uh, so Kohl's is a great place, especially for online arbitrage. Uh, where you can really bake in a lot of additional discounts, especially if you know how the cycles go with Kohl's cash and their sales and all that good stuff. Uh, you can really get product for very cheap and you can get a lot of it. So that's a quick tip for you guys. You know, I like giving you tips in these little retail arbitrage vlogs. So $10 to spend in the future. Uh, these were going for like 55 was the lowest FBA or 50. I'll have to double check. I'll pop it up on the screen. The rank's not the best, it's like 168,000 in toys, but the great thing is, is it's still selling, because I checked Keepa and it's still selling. Amazon's been out of stock for like two months, so hopefully they don't come back in stock. If anything, I only paid 12 bucks. Amazon was selling for 25 to 30. I can always get out at least a break even. So uh, pretty much a risk-free buy here, um, but we got the back pretty much filled with Nike shoes, some toys, all that stuff from Burlington. We're gonna head back down south because I live about 30, 40 miles from here. So we're gonna start making our way back and hitting up some more stores. <laughs> Just left the next Burlington. These discount stores aren't treating me the best, especially lately. Um, only got these three Adidas kids hats for, what did I pay, $9.99. They're going for like 24 bucks. I'm only gonna make about $5 profit each. Got three of them, so 15 bucks profit at this stop. Nothing special. I literally scanned a ton of stuff. Just wasn't worth it or it wasn't profitable. So uh, since the discount stores aren't showing us any love today, we are gonna head to two more outlet malls we're gonna hit a nike clearance store and then we're gonna head to the other outlet mall hit a nike factory adidas and puma and then that should wrap up our day so hopefully we can score you know some more shoes some clothing some good stuff like that uh so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me let's go <laughs> Thank you. 
one pair at Adidas. So this outlet mall only gave me six pairs, not what I was hoping for, but uh, I honestly think we're gonna head home. I'll unbox all this stuff, show you guys some of the products I got. Um, we'll enter it into inventory lab and get a whole count on how much we're thinking we're gonna make on this stuff. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go from there. All right, so this is kind of like our haul, except this Adidas was from yesterday. So all these Nikes, Reebok, some of this stuff, uh, some Nike stuff over there. Got all this stuff, but I totally forgot I put in a wholesale order. Uh, so we're kind of running running low on space. If you can see over here, had some OA, some OA in this box, RA, and then now we just got some wholesale in. So we got to get all that prepped up. Um, and then, but I'll definitely want to show you guys like the breakdown of all this stuff. Quick tip, actually, I'll show you guys right now. Let's see. I think they're these. No. Let's look and find this one shoe that I want to show you guys right here. That was not them. Let's see if we can find them. All right. So this shoe right here, guys, Nike Challenger OG. This had no ranking right no rank so most people just skip past it but when you click on the listing it has over 300 reviews okay i know this shoe is selling most kind of like newbie sellers would pass up that just because it doesn't show a ranking but if a listing doesn't have a ranking there's just some some type of issue going on but if that listing shows that it has reviews it's been getting reviews if you look at keep other sellers coming on falling off Stuff like that can tell you that that listing is still getting sales. So that's why I bought that particular pair of shoes. So another quick tip for you guys. I like sharing you guys, kind of showing you the game a little bit more to separate yourself from the competition because that's what this business is all about. Oh, also picked up these shoes at Marshalls. I forgot to show you guys. Um, some Toms uh, paid $19.99. There's no one on the listing for these either. I uh, got some like Nike sweats and stuff. Just some regular name brand stuff. So we're gonna get all this put into inventory lab and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. All right guys, so got pretty much everything boxed up. We got five boxes right here and make sure that tape's all good. So we got 10 boxes gonna enter in this shipment to FBA um, and then get it sent off. I actually ended up going back to that Nike the next day just because the people there were awesome, super cool people. And usually some Nikes have like a 30 day per limit, five pairs per style. This Nike was like five pairs per style, but they just let me keep coming back in and buying more. Uh, so we went ahead and did that. So we ended up getting like over 140 pairs of shoes um, just from Nike, which was pretty awesome. Super excited about that. But let me get this put into Amazon, print out the labels, stick them on the boxes, and then we're all finished up with this shipment, guys. All boxed up and ready to go. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave this video a like. Drop me a comment down below. And we'll see you guys on the next video.